Yep. Fence on your left here. You probably can get the echo of that, can you? Can you get the echo of that? Yes. It's got a good echo. It's about sounds, really, an environment where you have hearing and feeling and so forth, rather than a visual environment. We're just passing the post office now. I just want to keep you out wide enough, Stuart, so you don't hit that, those no, pillars. No. Yep. That's the bus stop there, Stuart. That's the number 18 bus here. Oh. Where we'll be talking about me catching buses today. Over well, that's right. Catching the plane. Oh, oh my, I'm from Christchurch home. Well, that's right. When we come to Te Papa, yeah. I picked up what we call a shoreline of Turka and I knew we had to walk past that, and then I knew we had to cut in inland. Auto shuttle to the airport. As we were approaching the building, I got the echo of it, but I also heard the sliding door, so it actually guided me pretty well to the sliding door. We're going into the calf now, Stuart. Well, sorry, Stuart, just come to the right of it, mate. So that, that thing that I'll play... Okay. No, I think we're right. Oh, yes, we are right. Excuse me, are we in the cafe here? Uh, no, sir, you're in the shop. Would you like me oh, to... Oh, that's OK, yeah. Go straight out to the left. Oh, to the left. I'm, I'm with you. I thought we might be in the wrong place. I wasn't sure. Hey, thank you. That was a bad start, wasn't it, Stuart? It was. I led you astray, gosh. Oh, I'm Stuart Nichols. Alan Jones is, is next to me. And um, I'm going out with, out with him fortnightly on the weekend to concerts and meals out. So although the scheme is principally to give Mrs Durr and Mrs Nichols a, a give them a break, but I, I also feel it's really important for Stuart to be enriched, to, for, for an experience that Stuart will enjoy and a concert that he'll enjoy. So I try and pick something that's, that's a bit meaningful. It's, Got to be something that two blind people will, will get something out of. Stuart, what have you found that you can learn from Alan? Uh, Alan's been uh, able to get 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 round by by um, getting buses and getting lost. Yes, that's that's an important thing of what we do sometimes, isn't it, Stuart? Yes. Now we're coming to the curb. Yep, and we quite a high curb here, Stuart. Quite narrow. Good man. Yeah, it is a wee bit narrow. I think there is an important about blind people working with, with other blind people. There's an understanding of what blindness is about. And I think there is a, also a understanding of the limits. Like I can, I've got a fair idea of what is safe and what isn't safe. As, as a blind person, I think it's really, really important that you know that help is there and that the um, the NASC and the agencies will provide this help. I think it's really, really important that you get in touch with an agency or a person who can give you information. Information is the key element, I think. I believe in people living in the community and um, being able to do as much as they can independently. Well, it's good that I can get out and meet new people and. Do, do things. Yeah. What difference has it made to Stuart, the Stuart that you knew a couple of years ago? Oh, just a lot more confident. A tremendous oh, amount more yes, confident. Yeah. And it's about the, the open the door. Well, well so the today. challenge for Stuart oh, no, no. will be to get from the cafe here on um, Island Bay Parade to the bus stop, which is, uh, which is just in front of the Medway Park Hotel. We've caught the bus at this bus stop before together. But today, Stuart's going to try it on his own. Is it because I can do it on my own? Yep. Why do you want it? <laughs> to be more independent. Well, because... I have to turn right. Here comes a bus now.
Thank you, mate. Have a good time.